Welcome everyone. Let's look at making the cat vehicle move around by running some open loop control commands. What I want to show you first is how to make a hard left turn. So by the hard left turn, what it means is that I'm going to take the wheels and turn them as far left as we can and then make the car drive around. So that's what we're going to show you in this tutorial. Notice that the control is open loop. That is, we're not reading data that comes from the sensor and making a decision. We're actually just telling the vehicle, go at such and such meters per second and turn your wheels all the way to the left. And then when you're done, stop it. Um, so let's do that. Uh, and everything, by the way, is recorded in advance in this thing called a baggy file. I'm going to show you that file as part of this tutorial as well. Let me demonstrate to you that we still have the, the tutorial running from earlier where I was showing you how to um, visualize data from the neighborhood in RViz. So I've started up the cat vehicle in the neighborhood, and those are the things that we're doing here. I've already got this running, already have RViz running, and we can see a bunch of data in RViz. The next thing I want to do is go make a new tab, which I've already got here, and I'm going to go into the source cat vehicle source tests open loop directory. So CD source, cat vehicle, source, tests, open loop. So in this directory, I only have two files. One is this hard left shell script, and the other is this baggy file. So let's look and see what it says in the hard left dot shell script. So inside of here, uh, we're actually publishing at a rate to a certain namespace uh, this output from the, the baggy file. So we're publishing these data at 100 hertz, uh, which means that whenever we see uh, information in the bag file, we're going to push it out, and then 100th of a second later, we're going to get the next data point and push it out as well. So let's look at that bag file, hard left dot baggy. So this isn't actually a bag file. Uh, it's what's known as a YAML file, yet another markup language, YAML. And we see that it's we've got this sort of JavaScript looking thing where uh, we have a structure called linear, which has x, y, and z, and then x has a value of 3, y, and z have values of 0, and angular, x, y, and z, so we have 0, 0, and then 1. So the angular value of 1 tells that we want to set the angle of the tires to be 1 radian. Um, and here, the linear value of 3 says that we want to move at 3 meters per second. So there's a bunch of lines in here, 15,522 lines. So if we divide that by 7, that gives us you know, right around uh, 2,000 or so lines. Um, and then each of those 2,000 or so lines contain, or 2,000 or so commands, um, each of those 2,000 or so commands is going to last about a tenth of a second. Uh, and so we can imagine this is going to take about 20 seconds to run this whole tutorial. So let's try it. Dot slash hard left dot sh shell. And as soon as I press enter here, I'm going to tab over to RViz, and we're going to watch the car pull forward. We can also see what's happening in Gazebo, that the car is pulling forward and turning left. So again, you can see here what it looks like in actual 3D. Um, and we can see up here exactly what our sensors are returning. So we're returning different values for the house. Um, and again, down here in the bottom, is where we see the, the vehicle moving around. So after 20 seconds of effort, we run out of uh, information from that baggy file. And you can see over here, it says, hey, we don't have enough arguments. I was expecting arguments and didn't get them. So that shows you how you can make the car move around just to see different kinds of information flow through the sensors. Right now, of course, we can't see anything uh, from the car because there's no sensors anywhere. So if we were to look on our viz, we would see that we just have sort of this flat earth with nothing until we get to the horizon, at which point we receive data at the horizon that says there's nothing here.